definitely doing it this way. Hopefully, well, look at that. Look at that. So, with that being said, let's see if we can get some folks to jump on. Mm -hmm. You get any notification here? You're not getting a notification, Madam? It's yours. You're getting a notification? It's supposed to, but. Was come up like you know saying it's like hello guys hello 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 we are live and direct and you know what live and direct mean right it means live and direct that is it you understand welcome evening, welcome hi the light look good for you the light look good guys if you like all the light look on on um, the wifey well, give her a you? thumbs up no man me already you know, tough and scrubby, scrubby, and you know, if you like how the live look and like wife it, you know, give her a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> if you like how the wife look and the live, give her a thumbs up, please. I think they're saying they don't like. I don't see no thumbs up, baby. Good evening, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our dinner live. Yes, we are trying to get back into the frame of things, and with this one, we're gonna make a. It's supposed to be quick and easy, or simple. Um, you know, we're making a sweet and spicy salmon and we're doing it in salmon bites. All right. Now, salmon is one of those dish, those, um, those, um, recipes that, you know, you have to know where you are. And I mean, a lot of people been using salmon. A lot of people been using salmon in recent times, but, you know, we try to keep it nice and keep it breezy. And so if you like what's going on, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Heart of worship. Hello to you. Yeah. Today we're using salmon from Trader Joe's. Anybody know what coho salmon is? Babes, you can look up coho salmon. Come in and know what it is. But it's salmon. Coho salmon. All right. I'm going to show you our list of ingredients in a few this is going to be a simple dish, guys. I'm, I'm picking up my utensils. Welcomes once again. Welcomes, welcomes, welcomes. I want to know what's coho salmon? Yeah, what is coho salmon? What, 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 why it is named that? Um, Gwen Lewis, blessings to you. And Karen Dunkley, big up, big up. The UK is in the house. UK is in the house. London is in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, 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 baby. baby. It's yeah. one of the five Pacific species. It's an, and it's of the Anadromous fish species. Oh, all right. I... Also known as silver salmon or silver. Silver salmon. Yes, let's call it silver salmon. All right. Let me. Can I show you the list of ingredients right quick? Um, you know what what I'm using, what I've been making. Let me see. Yes, let's go. All right. Let's turn this camera around. All right, so we have a bunch of stuff here. Well, not a bunch of stuff, it's a bunch of seasoning, and we'll keep it very, very light, very, very easy. The one of the major things that we'll be using is this um, habanero pineapple mango um, uh, um, seasoning blend. And guys, let me tell you something. There's so much seasonings on the market right now for you to to use. It doesn't really make sense to try to reinvent the wheel. We picked this one up at oh, it used for fish. Everything. Fish, salad, marinade, taco, chicken, pork, everything. All right. And we picked this one up at Big Lots. Yeah. There's a Big Lots close to us and this is where we pick it up. So if you're in the vicinity of Big Lots, go grab this one. You understand? All right. And then we have tomatoes, you know, and stuff and stuff. And we're just going to do a, a, like a spicy, um, you know, sweet sort of salmon. So this is the salmon right here, guys. And as you can see, salmon price are up there. All right. Let's jump in and see if we can pull out this out of, out of the, the packaging. Package. All right. Gwen so, Lewis, good morning. Gwen said good morning or evening. Oh, sorry. Good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. All right. So the top. Pause. Mm -hmm. 
So the type of packaging now is this shrink wrap type of package that um, Trader Joe's have. Not Trader Joe's, sorry. Aldi. So this is a ten dollar piece of salmon, guys. Mm -hmm. Let me show now. I want decent size. Mm -hmm. Ten dollar worth. You know. Yes. Although it's, we get a look of belly in it, and the belly, again, market price for salmon is basically at the side you want. You, the more your belly you get, is the less value the salmon is. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me let me have a show now a trick. To get in the skin of the salmon, let me wash my hands real quick. Why do people take off the skin though? Because it, them, them actually package it in a, the, with a the scale on it. Oh. So unless you're going to really and truly stop the um, scale. scale it. Let me sharpen my knife. Okay, I like the skin. Good evening, Harry. Dunkley. Good evening to you from uh, London. Why you keep doing that? What? Just a London man. Why, why? What in the world? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Guys, we had an explosion in the house, and guess what exploded? Hold <laughs> on, well, let me see if I can carry them over here. Guys. Are you guys so real? Real? Well, Anybody you know, hear that explosion? Guys, the toaster oven just explode. How did the toaster yeah. oven explode? It's what? What in the world? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I had an eggplant in the toaster oven. I never see this and before. the eggplant buzz. There's something just proper, proper, proper explode in the toaster oven. Like the eggplant buzz like black a bomb. No, it, no. no. I guess that this is, is gonna be trashed. I guess this is gonna be trashed. <laughs> Guys, what's that? What? The something explode to the point where the door of the something toaster oven buzz open. <laughs> like, hey, when you come on from your belly TV, you don't have to come up with things here. If things not drop on mash, eh, it'll explode. This eggplant, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be used to make tacos. So that's why I'm going to bake it in the oven, but I never know if it's going to bust open like a beige kite. Mm -hmm. I guess next time you punch it before you put it in. Yeah, next time I have to punch it holes in it. Mm -hmm. so. You live and you learn. Yeah. But, but our potatoes, guys, we're using purple potatoes and we pick up these at Sprouts. All right, well, I'm gonna punch them at two coming. Here, the next thing, them they explode too. It's soon done, it's soon done, man. It's almost finished. We probably can roll them around. Almost finished. Well, on there. let me just clean this up, guys, because you know, all right, I could just pick them over so the other side can get. Wait, this one All right, let me go throw this back in the mm. in the oven. Go back up. Pay attention, mm -hmm. Tanya Johnson. Good evening, girl. Good evening to you. Whisper a prayer in the evening for this toaster oven and this eggplant, cause mm, it's a time. So we're in Europe, sister Tanya Johnson. We're in Europe. You are <laughs> Tanya. You move, girl. Checking in from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Europe? Europe? <laughs> you didn't like all the eggplant Europe? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, guys. So let me just go ahead and cut this. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to get, um, to get it. I shouldn't even cut that one again. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna turn it over, and as you can see, it have the, the skin, scale. The skin with the scale. All Why right. is that a scale or something? I make people get it. No, that's not how them pr promote it. And so, what you want to do now is, let me see, I can clean up this eggplant. Skin him. No, I'm not going to go through all of that. Oh, you got to scale it? No, I'm not going to go through all of that neither. I'm going to show you a trick. Oh. This is a trick. And this is a new trick that you have never seen before. So, I want you to pay close attention. Gonna pay close attention. Guys, this is we call the process. De skinizing. De skinizing 101. <laughs> Have Easy. you ever thought about taking off the skin of a salmon and it just seems hard and it seems like a big hard task? And you're saying, Why am I doing this? Well, let me show you how you're gonna take the skin off. Come over here. Mm -hmm. 
and you're gonna, I'm just going to put it right there in the middle. Mm-hmm. And then you have some boiling water. Mm-hmm. And you just start to pour your boiling water. You notice something happening? It start retract or something. It start move. Right. You just throw your boiling water all over the skin. Take it. Take your time with it. Yeah. Take your time. Wow! Look how it retract or way contract. Mhm. Take your time. Pour that water. And remember now, you're aiming, aiming on the skin. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, real kind of because fish. Because if you throw it on the fish, it will cook. It will literally start to, to cook it. Right. Because salmon cooks so easy. Right. Want to see the trick? Because I bought salmon one time with the skin, and I said never again. <laughs> look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Now look at this. <laughs> look at this, guys. Wow! 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 Are you kidding? I first may I know this. <laughs> first may I see this. First may I do this. <laughs> that is crazy. This yeah. is phenomenon. A phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Look at that, guys. Unbelievable. Wow. So now you don't have to deal with no scale. Mm-hmm. Or no ray or no tail. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Oh, that look, guys. Did I do a good job? Perfecto. All right. Let me just wipe Sister this off. Sister Wednesday, unbelievable. All right. And then you just run off some other water here. And just dry off your cutting board. Come in, I'm going to really lift, lift it up, you know? Mm-hmm. Just clean off my cutting board with some hand towel. All right. So we're back over here now. All right, so now we want to get them into bite-sized pieces. Should I go back in here, babes, or just cut them long way go now? Go back, because bites are usually yeah, more of that size. And the salmon is relatively, um, it's still raw. It's not like it's, you know, mm-hmm. it start cooking. It just, just a little bit of a sear, a, a, a little blanching going in on, on one side there. All right, let me just, yeah. All right, all right. Now you come in and you give it, you portion it according to your particular desire. desire. These, because they are so small and it's usually, usually belly, mm-hmm. you know, really a fair, um, you know. Hold on, let me just get these, these little parts right here. The parts are almost cooking. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just doing this for get some space guys. Right? I'm gonna just go go right across the board and you know with a sharp knife you can exercise this part easy. Alright, may I leave the again make them part they because them so thin, mm-hmm. they have to cook them up by themselves, you know. Right. Again, you have to work it based on the push the, the salmon the that yeah that you bought and how it, you can manage it. Let me wash my hands again. You're dealing with fish, you have to keep on washing your hands, keep the, the, the space nice. When Louis said that's awesome, Rev. Now when I go to the grocery store, I don't have to cut my eye past the salmon with the skin. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've tried it before in a Gwen to cut it and, and it just chamba chamba and just get me cross, hungry, miserable, and me just feel fed up and leave it. I'm going to learn something today, for real. You learned something today, babes? Mm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's how I say I have to try that method. Awesome. All right, so now we're going to just take our salmon. Seasoning time. And I'm trying, to, I'm going to try my best to not... You missed the hack. <laughs> you totally missed the hack. But welcome anyway. Better late than never. Because Wait, no. All 
right so normally i should have used a, bro a, a wider dish to do this but me already take out that so i can't bother mm. all right and the simple thing that you want to do is you want to start with your dry ingredients before you use your wet ingredients i'll run it back okay <laughs> And your dry ingredients start with your garlic as usual. Garlic powder. Generous amount. And I'm using some paprika. Paprika. Decent amount. And then I'm gonna also use a little Larry's, not too much. A little bit of Larry's. It's crucially crucial. Not too much because we're gonna use the habanero sauce, right? Right. And then here is another trick. Hack right? number Our two hack. for the evening, guys. Hack, salmon hack, and number two. You take cornstarch. Mmm. Sprinkle it. Because you want the salmon to be crispy. Yeah. Uh -huh. so. Push it for you already. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You're gonna leave me alone. Guys, enough. if you like what's going on and you're watching, go ahead and just hit that like button, hit the thumbs up button. And when you're done, if you can, it would you know be appreciated if you just hit that share button and share it on whatever platform that you have at your disposal we would really 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 appreciate you mm -hmm. all right is that not turning on back yeah it, it actually did lock off you know so we have to turn it on back okay guys i have something outside that i want to show you guys but i can't go out there now to why? show you guys because eh? why you can't go out there now all right let me just put the salmon in the um in the frying pan and then we can go look so now we'll just wait just, until it why it's on yeah, low but listen what i'm doing i'm shaking the salmon you know try to get the cornstarch covered but you don't really want to lift it up um you know we'll wool it up so you just shake it, mm -hmm. move it round, put some more cornstarch as necessary. So we have a little oil in the pan that we're heating. This is a secret oil that we want to disclose. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So that's what you want to do, mm -hmm. you know. And then, okay, so what does that do? Why you add the, um, the cornstarch? Because you want your salmon crispy. Oh, okay. okay you want okay. your salmon to, to, be, to be fried crispy. Cripsy. Yeah, cripsy. Okay. Right? And that's all you're going to get it done. We're doing the heat check. Still not hot yet, but it's coming on. Yes. So that was a big hack, right? That was a good hack, right? What? Uh, making the salmon um to 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 get the skin off my boss that, guys my boss if you like my hack that give us a thumbs up <laughs> mm -hmm. i know that the hack was a good one see i think the 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 the, the screen the screen won't clean screen won't clean screen yeah see there hmm? my name is the, the camera japan hold on guys one second screen cleaning break and then screen the other side while you're at it where is you it see that, wow wow camera looks so divine all right guys so we're at this place now where we're almost ready to put in our, our salmon bites okay. back to the pot guys back to the pot to the pot sorry <laughs> i don't know for some reason to switch this camera you have to hit it so and really? still it's still now guys uh, am i the only one that prefers gas stove ranges like other than the um the, the 
electric flat top because I, I don't know. You see when the, the flat top is trying to heat, it goes in and out. So it, it, you see it depends the, on the gauge that you put it at. Even though. when I put it on high, it don't stay red all the time. It keep going in and out. See, it gone again. I think the range, the range might be going. The, the, the elements might be going. Oh, so maybe it's it's uh, malfunctioning. Yeah. Maybe that's what I'm elements. saying. It, it always does that. But we 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 not complain. The Lord is good and His mercies endure forever. When time for new stove and new kitchen, cause we you, you, we tired of the farm. I can't you know? mm -hmm. Trust me. Anybody out there have a kitchen that they want to get rid of a joke? <laughs> so, me know me know see me know see, but um, I have more someone to do. So, I'm just gonna put these in. You can go show the folks what you want to show them, and come right back. And mm -hmm. by the time you come back. If someone will be bubbling, hot will be hot, and everything will be corposthetic. So guys, walk with me. Walk with me. I have, walk with me. I have something to show you guys, so walk with me. No, mine does that too. My stove isn't that old. Okay. So babe, you might have to, to watch the, the, the high. It's it's stuck. It's on high. Yeah, All right, guys. So while I'm on the way outside, let me show you this one thing. Because I'm, I'm ever so proud of it. And um, forgive me for being so proud of it. Mm -hmm. So, right here we have our orchids. But these orchids, you guys, I discovered several months ago that orchids, when the leaves fall off, and when the leaves are falling. <laughs> When the leaves fall off and you think all is done, all is done, I think. and the, 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 the plant needs to be thrown out, which I usually do, I guys, it can rebud. Whoever knew that the, the orchids can come back up? Who, who knew that it can yeah, rebloom? Well, I am an orchid newbie. So let me go outside. This is not what I wanted to show you guys. Let me show you what I want to show you outside. Mm -hmm. See, this is another one that that um is rebudding too. We call it reblooming or rebudding. And see some other little baby ones here coming up on it. And this this is the, the part that had bloomed before, and of course they fell off. So I just left it on the, the patio, and to my surprise, them start. Reblooming or rebudding or whatever you call it, and there's another one here on the floor coming back up again. Yeah, but anyway, that's not what I want to show you guys. Let's go outside. Hopefully, the internet don't get disrupted before I get to what I'm showing you. So, yes, 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 guys, yes, yes, yes. Yes, mm. I'm not ready for this yet. Well, call man. Hold on, can't take the car right now. I don't think y'all are ready for this yet. Bam! A bam! Bam! And whoever knows where I live, do not come and pick up my plum them off of my tree, please. And thanks, don't do it, guys. These are my favorite plums. What them call it? Coolie plum in Jamaica. I don't really know the, the real scientific name for it, but they call them Coley Plum, my favorite ever. And somebody gave me the stick. Like, when I say it's literally a stick that they broke from their plum tree with no root, no nothing. And, and the person said, just stick it in the ground. And I was like, okay, let me just oblige you and stick it in the ground. But to be honest, I had no faith where this was concerned. I had no Hold on. Love, love the orchids. Thank you. Yeah, I had no idea that the thing would come up, but the thing came up. And also, we have a pineapple struggling to come here. We planted like maybe 10 pineapples, and this is the first one that started to, to show signs of, you know, fruitfulness. So, yeah, things are going. Things are going down. And we have a callalo over here. This is the only color low so far that look like it have edible leaves. The others just have some like a small tiny leaves that obviously not going anywhere. Let me show you like this one that I need to dig out because obviously these are not going anywhere. 
but yeah i'm super duper excited about my um my um plums and if i can get sweets up that would make my entire day my entire life because sweets up kneesberry and that kind of plum is my favorite all right back to the the dinner Did the, the signal drop there? No, I don't see it back down there. <laughs> plum tree with a plum tree. Can you believe it? Plum tree without that was another thing where I'm like, there's no way. Plum tree without leaves. No, no when it's a baby, Oh yeah, it's it had it had a few leaves before, but just before it it started to to bear some some red some little red flower looking things came up on it and all of the leaves fell off so I guess that's the the life cycle the process all right so this is how the salmon is looking and as you can see it firm up nicely now you know mm -hmm. and it's gonna be flaky you know so you just want again you want it crispy so mm -hmm. now what happens is if you if you move around the salmon before it actually start to get crispy it's gonna fall apart oh so let's leave it yeah leave it be until it ready yeah and sandy coming for dinner one weekend lol <laughs> uh, yeah right now you reach already from, mm -hmm. from three years now you reach and can reach it so hey if you said so <laughs> we're not all over it all right nicely nicely let me see yeah it's a command, it's a command. It's coming on. Mm -hmm. You're not turning on by the potato. Are you serious? You say you never turn it on? No. Wow. I'm doing this, baby. Start to coat some of this. Now again, the, the, the size of the meat will depend on you and on the cut of meat that you actually got from the store. All right, so depends on you and the cut of meat that you got from the store that you will dictate your size, you know. everything is looking nice thus far now this is where you have to really and truly monitor your, your stuff to make sure that it not burn yeah man over here may I put on put on the, the, the pieces right there so And they're nice and crispy, nice and toasty. Yeah. And guys, the thing with salmon is it's such a delicate meat that it it basically takes the flavor of whatever you put with it. So you don't have to worry too tough, you know, what's gonna go with your salmon. You can just add any little thing to it. If you have um, jerk marinade, you can add jerk to it, any little thing. Try to get this big piece to not flake, up, um, flake apart. I have to do four sides. sides. 
well. And um, as I said, we got some purple potatoes from Sprouts. If you have a sprout in your neck of the woods, it's nice to go over there. The potato was like three pounds to like seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Is that too bad? Is that a bad price? No, it's not bad. I just made some coconut curry salmon with okra last week. That's all good. Good evening, neighbor. Good evening to you. Bless up yourself. Awesome. And of you, as usual, guys, if you can find, if you can find um, wild caught salmon, you, 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 that's another plus that you want to grab um, wild caught salmon and where you find it. Go ahead, girl. Go up, please. I can go up again. All right. All right. We have a little bit of asparagus that we're trying to utilize. And of course, you know, the breaking method. Where it naturally breaks is where the, um, the hard part, you know, usually it separates from the soft part and then you throw away this. You know, so I used to juice these, but can't bother today. These are that, and then we have some snap peas. We call it sugar, sugar snap. snap. Sugar and, snap. And guys, those are nice raw. Oh my gosh! I never knew you could eat peas raw, and it tastes so nice. Sugar. Anyway, say sugar snap peas. Bite. And you're surprised to know that you sit on and eat these peas raw as a snack, and you don't even realize that it's vegetable you're eating raw peas. So, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this, you guys. With the peas? With the peas and the asparagus. Just blanch the asparagus quickly and then um, put them with the peas and just drizzle some, some type of ranch dressing or something over here. Let me throw off this oil. Um, we're not gonna get rid of the oil now. Carry it outside? You're gonna use the pot again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, carry it outside. Otherwise, problem. All right, so make we wash these and wash these. Oh, on Sunday, what I did with them was on Sunday, I actually poached them. So you know how you would do your, your fish? So for example, you're doing fish in um, a foil, foil paper. If you're baking a fish or, or roasting a fish in a foil paper, that's exactly how I did the vegetables and they were perfect. You can't even leave them for five minutes maybe three to three to four minutes and they're good to go so i just put them the peas and the asparagus there was one more thing oh some 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 baby corns so i did peas asparagus and baby corns put them in the foil put a little garlic butter put a little what else i put something that had sweet in there a little bit of um sugar or whatever and you're you're good to go it was so nice and it just you don't know, steam and still crunchy but you know a little bit cooked hard cooked so we gonna do something to these right now with these two complement the potato and the salmon Someone bites over here, the pre cooked. I don't know if somebody needs to taste them or not. I feel like, yeah, I feel like somebody, oh, see one little piece here. I'm not gonna really be disrespectful. So, this 
Mmm. Very flavorful already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 champ, champ, champ. <laughs> Why? The whole side smoke. Oops, what am I doing? Me, Jesus. All right, so can you walk over a little bit? Let me start working on my sauce over here. All right. Good evening, Alain. Graham, bless up yourself, girl. So guys, I'm gonna start working on the sauce, and the sauce is gonna be, as I said before, I'm using the the pre-prepped um, sauce from Spice World, and it's simply habanero, um, mango, and pineapple. You can make your sauce from scratch; nothing is wrong with that. But sometimes, guys, you can. I mean, like for a weekday meal like this, you really don't want reinvent no wheel right now. You understand what I said? So just grab yourself a pre-prepped sauce and yeah, semi-homemade. There's nothing wrong with semi-homemade as long as you put your touches on it and make it where you want it to be. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm just basically, I know you guys aren't seeing anything, um, but give us a, a minute to switch this camera around so you guys can see what we're doing. And if you're not yet subscribed and you're watching this video, please go ahead and subscribe and give us a thumbs up we try our best to put up videos that are relevant to our age and to who we are. Go ahead, baby. On a weekly basis. Don't don't blanch those in a bit. I want those raw. So just blanch the asparagus alone. Anybody out there ever had sugar snap peas raw? It is so good. I promise you. So good. All right, let me see if I can turn my camera around and um, give you guys a first hand uh, um, look at what we do over here. So, all right. So, so now I'm just pretty much gonna be chopping up my garlic. Garlic is gonna be an essential part of this dish. I might not even use the tomatoes, but I'm, I'm gonna use the garlic. So let me grab my kitchen knife and just Take it off, take off the, clean it off a little bit, and then go ahead and chop my garlic. And guys, you always have to be careful when you use knives, you know, um, you, you just have to be careful. You know, learn as much as possible how to manage it, how to use it. I'm not a professional chef but i watch a lot of what i see them do and eventually someday maybe someday you know maybe end up in a a professional um kitchen so it's always good to plan ahead so you want to mince your garlic and if you have already minced garlic it still can work all right Let me see if I can go through and mince them a little bit finer because we're gonna add the garlic to our something right away. Garlic right there, so. <laughs> Why well, should I move my head out of the camera? <laughs> garlic right there, so. And then add some thyme. Could have done that a little better. Someday. Hey. You know, as empty nesters, I don't know if you have any empty nesters watching us, but since Joshua not here, they, we get so lackadaisical when it comes to the cooking. It's so much easier to just go buy something, you know. Or one something to forever. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why we, I, I realize we have not been doing videos because 
we don't normally cook one like two serving of food. What do we have for dinner yesterday, for example? I don't even know. We I had don't... one. We keep eating one meal a day for some reason. Yesterday we had in the middle of the day, smack in the middle of the day, maybe one two o'clock. Yeah. We had our only meal, which was the guacamole, which we made. Mm -hmm. And he made a salsa. A nice salsa, guys, a with pineapple. the street, street corn and pineapple. Mm -hmm. And then, what we ate it with? Me not even know. Oh, we had some barbecue meat from the day before that we had it with, and then some nachos. And that was that was dinner. And, and that's that's been our life for, for a while now. <laughs> Just eating what we can eat. <laughs> what we find. Yeah. And because when I eat late again to some extent, it's just been crazy, guys. Trust me. So, here we go. Here we go. Get rid of these big pieces. All right. Let me just chop up some scallions as well. And of course, I'm, I have to chop up my my um my garlic. You saw that video, Alien? <laughs> Alien said, Lola's seafood have nothing on you all. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I could eat it just like that. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Alien said, looks delicious. This salmon she talking? Yeah. Awesome, Alien. They're very good. All right. Right, all right. So here we go now. So this is it, this is it for, for, for reference once again. This is our habanero, pineapple habanero seasoning. Mm -hmm. Smells good, smells nice. All right, so we have a little bit of, um, you wanna walk the, the phone over here now, babes? We have a, we have a little bit of oil in our pan over here. And we're just gonna add this thing to that. And for this step, we're using coconut oil. Yeah, because coconut oil is very flavorful. And then... <laughs> Donna said I went to um, Lola's Seafood one time and that's uh, all. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> what that mean, Donna? Alright. We went, we posted a video recently about our experience. Our yeah. visit there. And the two things that we, we ordered wasn't bad. We like their, their seafood basket. They have a seafood medley basket that was pretty good. And then Hobby tried something else. I like their, what was it called? I don't know, some type of yellow seafood rice. Kind of habanero, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. So in the pot we have garlic. And thyme. the and thyme and the seafood and the, and the habanero the pineapple mango sauce. Okay, but remember, you guys can substitute the pineapple habanero mango sauce with any type of you know condiment like this. I have some chili oil that I'm gonna add mm. again for just that little kick, spicy kick. And I'm gonna add some sugar. Sucre. And it's about a tablespoon of sugar. Tablespoon of sucre. That's about a tablespoon? Uh, more. It's about <laughs> a tablespoon. You're not seeing from my side. <laughs> a more. <laughs> All right, so we're mixing that in for the sweet and spicy um, effect. Mm -hmm. Grab a spoon for me, darling. Sauce look good already done guys. It look good, it look good. Wow. Awesome sauce. Awesome. No pun intended. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I promise you guys it is awesome. Awesome. What did I do with the butter? Always you can add a little butter to your sauce. 
And what the butter does is just give it this nice bright sheen. You never want the garlic butter? No. And I think that is it you know, that should be it. That is it. No, last thing. Always. Lemon. Squeeze some lemon. You have to fish out that, that, that lemon seed there. No, no, I see it. I see them, I see them, I see them. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Don't move. You gotta take out all the things there. This is one. And the other one there. So you just squeeze in some lemon for that seafood tang. All right, I got you, baby. All right, and now you take back all your salmon and you just dump them back in there. Mm -hmm. so you can it in the and nice you fold sauce. them, fold them over. You keep messing with it until but you have to be gentle yeah very gentle guys you don't want to break them apart make sure every piece get coated thoroughly coated and you turn the stove off turn off your stove because of course your salmon cook already Good. Looks good. Mm -hmm. And I like the non-stick pan that I'm using. This pan is called All Clad, and it's super duper good, guys. Heavy, super good, nice, and All Clad. You need to, you need to send me some more pans that you guys yeah, have. I need to message them. They keep messaging me. I need to message them. Mm-hmm. And then. The usual yard belly style finishing touch. You already know what it is. Our and this green is not onions. the finishing, but you just add it to it to make it get that nice flavor. In. And then you cover it so, and that will seal in that flavor. Seal in the flavor. All right. All right. All right. Next, next container now. You know, so she have no little regard for for her, her viewers. You have no regard for your viewers. You just a flash flash the camera all over the place. Guys, we apologize for the movements of the camera. It's not our intention to make you dizzy. We just want to get the food done in a um, good time. All right? So, what's the next move now? The next move is we're going to work on the potatoes. So, let me show them what you're doing. So, right now, the wifey is just adding some hot water to the asparagus to just quickly... Um, blanch, uh, asparagus this way? Yeah. To just blanch them. Grab one of them kitchen pan there for me, baby. Pan? Yeah. Oh. So we just, and this? Big, 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 big. Yes. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then you, you, can, you can cover this and make it steam like that real quick. Mm -hmm. Hold this, darling. Let me grab the, let me go for the. Why you cover the piece of me in front of the people them I has? <laughs> All right, guys, so. Potato is coming up and we're almost done with everything as you can see Oven is off Someone already cooked and now we're gonna show you how we're gonna prepare the potatoes first We must ask you how you want the potato done. You want it to be done with a little bit of mayo and a little dill You want a little ranch dill purple potato dill garlic like you a know? Mash? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay So let's get that to that now Bam. All right, now we have to go work with, with hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. All right, so Let me we see have can. the three purple potatoes over here. Let me carry it over here. And and just open it up, make you guys see. Extraordinary. It's going to guys, let me talk about purple potato. I don't think a joke I make. Bust him open. Look on this. Wow. Look on that, guys. And purple foods have a purpose, you guys. Um, 
don't take it lightly you, you know the, the colors of the food they do you know help to to de to, to to nourish you with certain nutrients right right specific do you remember what purple foods do yeah don't play with me that's <laughs> something funny and it's not funny <laughs> Like you would teach me. It's a purple foods or something, red foods or something, green foods or something. But I'll look it up before. Purple is my favorite color. <laughs> and guys, this is just like a sweet potato, you know, so. For real? Yeah, it have um, the same type of texture. Oh, but it's, it's all good. It have the same type of texture like sweet potato, not like, like Irish potato. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice. Can I taste it? Yeah, I can taste it. Tastes good, oh. though. No, mm -hmm. man. Wow. You added something to it? Like no. Or something? No. Well, you didn't see me just take it out of the something. I mean, this one. Can, guys, can, could you have her pay attention? To the to the to the um to the food. Wow, guys, don't sleep on purple potato. It's so good. Ouch. Ouch. All right, the last one now. The last one now. And when you see those potato chips medley, you usually have purple potato in there. Mm -hmm. The first, my first experience with purple potato is on jet blue. Okay. Cause the potato chips where them have one purple potato chips them have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And guys, you could just you could just open this and and put in your butter and your stuff and and do it like a roasted potato. Same so. You know, you never have to do it like a weird meat, you know. Right, true. We shouldn't stop. All who like the purple potato, give me a thumbs up. I wish you could taste it, no baby. Me, me, me not gonna taste it eventually. Mm -mm. Before you even put nothing on it. So don't put nothing on it, yeah, say. Mmm, it tastes so good. So good. Guys, it tastes Very good on its own. Mm-hmm. It tastes good without no additive. Right now. Mm. All it need a little butter. It does vibe yeah. and coconut oil. Look at coconut yeah. oil for the vibes it up on it. Minimalist. It. Yeah. All right. Wow. Well, you know, if you scrub the skin properly, you could actually eat the skin. Sure. For roughage. Sure. <laughs> roughage, a.k.a. fiber. A.k.a. Eat a.k.a. The AKA eat the skin. All right, so now he's going to be adding his... We just add a little coconut milk. Coconut oil. Coconut oil, sorry. Mm-hmm. And coconut oil is, is pretty good for you. So. If I'd known, I would have roasted some garlic. But. Oh, it's not been too late. That. No, I can't bother. <laughs> you know, you know, understand hey, somebody over. Hey, you need to make um, a roasted garlic powder. Is that possible? Of course, anything is possible. America, yeah, you know. Roasted America make everything powder. possible. I think it should have a different flavor than the regular garlic powder. All right, so he's just doing a rough mash. As, as she said, guys, it is of such that it not really need a bag of things. You don't need a bag of things. And you know, say no one, you 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 personally are try deter me from putting things in it. No, but it <laughs> don't need a bag of things. <laughs> But for real, yeah, you know you don't like things. You don't like when they experiment. You know that. You know that. Talk to you. No, but talk to you. No, but talk to you. It's not nice. It's it's very nice. It's okay. actually very nice. But I still think it needs. So put what you think it needs. To be honest, no, you don't want me to. No do man, it. Like, put what you think it needs, man. You want to put bacon? Yeah. You mean know you didn't say that, man? <laughs> you know you didn't say that, you Don't forget the bacon. Let me know you said that. I'm joking. Oh, let me tell you what I'm going to add to it. Ah, just boss. Just a little cream cheese. Ah. Uh -huh. Can't lose half a cream cheese. Let me tell you that straight. Anything Plain but Plain cream mayo. cheese. Here you now. <laughs> and you know, so I'm going to add the mayo just about you. <laughs> can add a little mayonnaise just about you. Mm -hmm. 
I don't be like that. Just to make it have that nice palatable vibes, eh? Mm. Some chives would be good in there. We have dill. And we have scallion. Mm -hmm. So scallion and chives are relatively the same thing, you know. Oh, they yeah. come from the same Celery. family. Cilantro. No, cilantro not gonna work. Mm. Guys, it tastes really good. This is a vibe, I'm telling you. A Try it some purple vibe. potato. Anybody out there has tried purple potato will know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Mm -hmm. in, in Hawaii, they call this poi. A poi? Poi. But I think in Hawaii, they use yam though. They use dashin. Or a purple yam? Mm -hmm. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that. So good. All right. Guys, just for purple potato, give a thumbs up. Please. <laughs> just for the fact that we are using a purple potato hit the thumbs up button if you have not yet already hit the thumbs up button give a thumbs up for purple potato God. purple potato roller well beautiful Alliance are beautiful all right so we're getting ready for the presentation you guys already know we don't play where presentation is concerned so Clean up the area. Gwen says, sorry, I can't stay to see the end. I'll go back and watch. Going into my exercise class. Go <laughs> on, Glenn. Gwen, I exercise you the door. Really? You go, girl. Get two squats in for me there while you're at it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do I do this thing now, Lord? That um, peaked. You know, like a peach peach. See, it could use a little mayonnaise to make it look a bit more runny, you know. Make it look a bit more vibesy. Mariable. All right. You gotta buy this. You gotta buy this? A restaurant, yeah. <clears throat> Benefits of purple foods. According to medical news today, purple produce provides vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Purple fruits and vegetables are high in anthocyanin, which has a positive effect on brain health, inflammation, and heart disease. Purple foods may also enhance calmness and boost mood, giving people a few more reasons to add them to their meal plan. Wow. Especially now we need purple foods because everybody in a bad mood. <laughs> we need the boosting. We know. need the boosting of the mood and we need the heart health and we need the help with the joints and the whatever else them say. But yeah. All right. All right, so we have our snap sugar snap peas in the raw. And this is all you want to eat, guys. When you eat, you eat in color. She does in the wheel. Sure. You're not in the wheel, my girl. You know, sister, me chef boy, I'm going to get more purple food. Yes, girl. Get you your purple foods. Mm -hmm. You know them have purple. Pay attention. Can you pay attention to your? You know them have purple carrots. Purple carrots too. They have, they do have purple carrots out there too. Yeah, but those are the common foods. You know, we don't use common foods on here. Ha <laughs> ha. What is common food? Purple carrots. <laughs> we use. We use purple potatoes. Capital huh? food. Very funny. <laughs> sure. We have one job. Will you leave me alone? <laughs> Guys, she's bothering me. <laughs> I can put some on it now. I didn't put anything at all on it. There we have flavor. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm 
this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that one, you're, that one you're broke. Is what you call gourmet eating on a dime. <laughs> on a dime, for true. <laughs> this dinner is literally maybe on literally under twenty dollars, and it can serve three to four people. Yeah, twenty dollar meal, three to four people. If you're bad. Go store and think you can buy one plate of this for under twenty dollars. Not gonna happen. Watch me, then, me. I'm not finishing now. You know that? No, I'm. St I still have to put pretty, pretty on the plate. Okay. He is not done, you guys. He is coming for more. Anybody can guess which color he's gonna add to the plate. <gasps> yes. Yes. A little bit of red. Mm hmm Same so. Beautiful plating. Thank you, official Jamie. Guys, if you like the plating, go ahead and hit the, the like button. If you are watching and you're liking it, hit the you have you ever, have you guys ever gone on YouTube to search for something and you see some suggested videos? They only suggest the videos that people like comment on and do any type of interaction with that's why we're trying to um implore you guys to to like the video because youtube use that as a signal that people are actually interested in the video and if they feel like people are interested in the video then they are going to optimize the video and put it on the recommended list and the suggested list so yeah this is a nice this is a nice meal now for the, the drizzle. Yes. We said drizzle. Yes. Mm-hmm. We give this food 10.5 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> for real. We give it a 10.5 out of 10. That is it. I'm done. Mm-hmm. So lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So this is a you know Tuesday evening dinner. Yard the Belly TV. Yeah. Doing our thing. Lovely color. Thanks, Donna. Doing our thing. Trying to, you know, offer healthier, you know, ideas and options for you guys. So yeah. Never try it now. Right, the hobby is gonna sample of him, him. Sorry, him food. The potato no need no help. <laughs> it is so good, guys. Mm -hmm. The cream cheese never, never do nothing to it. Never change the the the, the vibe of the potato. It, it, it's a little bit more. It's a little bit more. What do I call it? Glutinous than the than the, the the orange potato or, or the regular irish potato okay. it's just nice and then now the salmon mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh my god <laughs> babes yeah wow come on man tell me wow. man mm. wow just oh. wow i can't wait the burst of spice and the hint of the sweetness. And you still taste the salmon. And the herbs. I taste the herbs mm -hmm. too. And I, taste, mm -hmm. and I actually taste the salmon. So. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Love it. That one is good, guys. Give them a last look and make we move on because I'm eating time. Let me see what we can find to go with it. Oh, let me tell you. Eating time. Lemon lime. <laughs> eating time. <laughs> yeah, it worked mm -hmm. fine. So guys, does this one look like it can make it into the yard of belly cookbook? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think so. I think this one can make it in the yard of belly cookbook. Of course, you know, I would have to make the sauce from scratch. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can it. easily make that. Habanero, man, mango pineapple habanero sauce. Mm -hmm. It probably would be a, a little bit more intense than, than the, the mm -hmm. Yeah. It worked, it, guys. Easy. It worked fine. Good evening, Cynthia Thompson. I and just guys, got on. I missed it. What purple food is that? This is purple potato. 
And guys, let me tell you something. If you are ever in a, a spot where you need a quick meal, trust me, it's not so bad. Trust me. If we just over an over hour to from start to finish, including baking the potato and everything. Yeah. You know, it was well worth it. Yeah. Remember yeah. to like, share, and subscribe. All of them. Something there. Like, share, subscribe. The easiest thing that you can do right now is to just hit the like button. It's, it's not a lot of work to do that. And um, you can also hit the share button and just share it out somewhere. Send it to your friend. Send it to your husband and drop a hint. Send it to your wife and drop a hint. Send it to anybody who cook for you and drop a hint. Because tell them, say, oh, you them need to up the cooking game. But you're just sending a subtle hint, you know? Nothing, yeah. <laughs> you just sharing a video. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So, thanks, Mrs. Wife. I'm going to have to watch. Yeah, you definitely have to watch it because several hacks were dropped. Okay? Yeah. So, you need to check those um, from the beginning so you can see those hacks that we dropped. Some gems. <laughs> Culinary gems were dropped. Okay? So, you're rushing people themselves. That makes so much noise. <laughs> But see your gems, cool and everything. Why is it so much nice? Yeah, we get the seal of approval, the stamp of approval from Art of Worship. She said, Look good. Yes. Thank you and so it, oh, much. Oh, Lala the day, Lala, would I get the price? The price, and should I get 10 stars? Remember, Straight. the price is the price. <laughs> 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 all right guys well thank you guys for watching another video thank you for your patience thank you for keeping up with all of the foolishry yes from you not from me i've been very very good today <laughs> from us both and as usual remember if you're not yet subscribed to just hit that subscribe button so that you can become a part of the yardy belly family and you can get notified by hitting the notification all bell when we go live, when we post a short, when we do a, a, a premiere, when we do a live, whatever the issue is, you can get notified and you can be, you know, the first to, to partake in those mm -hmm. videos. All right. So, again, Cynthia said it's 10 stars for me. Thank you, Cynthia. Appreciate love it. Appreciate love it. Yeah. One more spin. Just because. <laughs> When I got tired fixing my face, because this one is just a banger, a banger. Remember, live and laugh. Cook and Cook consume. And eat some purple food. <laughs> Remember, me telling you, are the belly in the kitchen. A oh, peace. Yes, a peace to you people. Yeah, peace in the Middle East. Peace in the Middle East. <laughs>